G'day nerds, welcome back to McGrathematics. Hope you're having just the most fantastic day. Today we are starting a new topic for extension one on the channel called polynomials. Hopefully you've looked at a bit of polynomials in the advanced course by now. Basically just a fancy word for long algebraic expressions with lots of x's and lots of powers. But today we're looking at um, focusing on the key skill of this topic, which is how to do long division with polynomials. So we're looking at a method, my preferred method of um, dividing one polynomial by another. But before we do that, we need to do a quick refresh of how to do long division with numbers because then this might make a little bit more sense, hopefully. So for our warm up question, we're going to find the quotient and remainder of 2048 divided by 15. Now, my process for doing long division, um, with numbers this is going to seem like absolute chaos, but you'll have to trust me that this actually gets easier when we start using algebra rather than numbers. But my process is called the DMS drop. Okay, there's four steps in long division that need to be repeated a few times. They're called divide, multiply, subtract, and drop. I'll show you what I mean. Let's draw up a long division brace like this. We're gonna put the 2048 inside, and what we're dividing by goes out the front. Okay, so <clears throat> DMS drop. First step is to divide. So we wanna do two divided by 15, which we cannot do. So instead, we'll do 20 divided by 15, which is one. 15 goes into 20 once. That's the first step done. The next step is to multiply. Okay, so the answer that you got on the top, just here, that's gonna multiply whatever's out the front, and we're gonna write the answer underneath this. So one times 15 is 15, and we write it there. Second step done. Third step is subtract. So I'm gonna draw a red line here that's telling me I need to do 20 minus 15, and we're gonna write the answer underneath here. So 20 take away 15 is five, we write the five there. And the last step is to drop down the next, well in this case it's a digit, when we're doing um, polynomials it'll be the next bit of algebra. So the four right here is going to drop down and join the 54 right here. So if you wanna add a bit of spice to these when you're doing these at home, um, when you're doing this last step, the drop, a um, bit of fun to do a little slut drop in your room, makes the process a bit more fun and makes it very, very uncomfortable for my students. So we get a 54 just here and now that's the last step done and now we repeat the whole thing again. First step is D for divide. We're doing 54 divided by 15. So 15 goes into 54 three times. So I write a three up here. Next step is M for multiply. The three at the top multiplies the 15 at the front, which gets us 45. So we write 45 just here. Next step is S for subtract. So we draw a red line. We do 54, take away 45, and we get an answer of nine. And now once again, we drop the next thing down. So the eight's gonna come down here join the nine and become a 98. And now we just do one more rotation. So D for divide, 98 divided by 15. Uh, 15 goes into 98 six times with a bit of a leftover. M for multiply, six times 15 is 90. S for subtract, 98 take away 90 is eight. And now there's nothing to drop down, so we can't do that. Our next step would be um, eight divided by 15. We can't do that because 15 is bigger than eight. So this eight at the end is called our remainder. Okay, so 2048 divided by 15 gets us a quotient, a result of 136 with a remainder of eight. So we can write 2048 divided by 15 as 136 and our remainder, our eight is really eight fifteenths. What we can do with this expression is we can multiply each individual piece by 15 like this. So times this by 15, this by 15 and this by 15. And we can rewrite the same expression in a bit of a nicer looking way. We can write 2048 is equal to 15 lots of 136 plus eight. Okay, so these three parts of our breakdown of 2048 have three specific names. What we divided by originally is called the divisor. The result that we got on the top of our long division is called the quotient. And the bit left over is called the remainder. So that's the process done with numbers. We're now going to um, apply this to polynomials. So we're gonna divide one polynomial by the other, and we're gonna write our result like this. We're gonna have polynomial equal to what we divided by, multiplied by the result of our division plus the remainder. Okay, so there's a bit of notes if you wanna write any of this down because you're really bored, but let's just go into a couple of examples and show you how this process of the magical DMS drop works with polynomials. Here's our first one. Our polynomial is a cubic polynomial, x cubed plus x squared plus two x minus one we are dividing this by x minus three. So once again, we're gonna draw up a bit of a square brace looking thing. What we're dividing by goes out the front and what we're dividing goes inside like this. Okay, now we run through the magical process of DMS drop once again. So our first step is D for divide. 
Okay, what this means is we're gonna divide our two leading terms. So the leading terms are the things at the front, the x cubed and the x. If I do x cubed divided by x, it gets me x squared as a result. So I write x squared up here. Okay, so x cubed divided by x is x squared. Next step is m for multiply. Our answer that we just got, x squared, is gonna multiply everything out the front. So x squared minus x is gonna be x cubed. x squared times minus three is minus three x squared, and we write it underneath this. That's step two, so multiplying your answer with whatever's out the front, writing your answer underneath here. Next step is s for subtract. I'm drawing a red line. I'm gonna subtract the top from the bottom. If you're doing this correctly, these two terms should always match, and so when you subtract them, they just vanish away because x cubed minus x cubed is zero. Be really careful with your negatives here. We're doing one x squared, take away negative three x squared. And hopefully because you're doing extension maths, you know that when you take away a negative, you're really plussing. So one take away negative three is positive four. So we have positive four x squared. That's the S step done. Next step is the most important, uh, is you drop down the next bits. So the next bit is the plus two x. That's just gonna drop down and don't forget to act it out in your room. Uh, so we put the plus two down here and there's our drop done. Now this is the next bit that we're going to repeat the process with. So we go back to the start and we go back to D for divide. Divide the leading terms. 4x squared divided by x is gonna get us 4x. So we write 4x up here. And because it's positive, I'm writing a plus. Next step, M for multiply. The plus 4x is multiplying everything out the front. So plus 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times minus three is minus 12x. That's M done. Draw a line because now we're going to S for subtract. So 4x squared take away 4x squared is nothing. 2 take away negative 12 is really 2 plus 12, so we get 14x. Now we drop down the next bit, which is the minus 1, comes down to join the party, and there's our next bit to start off with, 14x minus 1. Back through the process again, D for divide, so 14x divided by x gets us 14, positive 14. M for multiply, 14 times x minus 3. Well, 14 times x is 14x, and 14 times 3 is 52, so we get minus 52 here. One last step of subtract, draw a red line, the 14x's cancel out, minus one, take away minus 52, gets you an answer of 51. And because we can't do 51 divided by x, um, that's where we stop and we say that's our remainder, that's our quotient. So we can rewrite the question as, this polynomial is equal to x minus three multiplied by the quotient of x squared plus four x plus 14 with the remainder chucked on the end. Okay, so we divided by that, that was our answer, and that's our remainder. Okay, that may make absolutely no sense. When I was first showed this in year 11, I was like, this is this is just black magic. But trust me, when you do it a few times, you see the pattern, you follow the steps, and you get the right answer every time. On to the next one, a little bit harder, a little bit tougher numbers, but the process is the exact same. DMS, slut drop. All right, so we draw up a long division. We put our divisor out the front. We put what we're dividing into the inside of the square thingo. And now we run through the steps. D for divide. 4x cubed divided by 2x. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And x cubed divided by x is x squared. So there's our result. Multiply that with the divisor out the front. So 2x squared multiplied by this gets us 4x squared plus 2x squared. So that's the result of that times that. S for subtract, little red line. Doesn't have to be red, but I think it just looks better because I'm weird. Uh, okay, now subtract, we've got minus two, take away two, which is minus four. So we have minus four x squared. Uh, we're going to move on to drop, which is drop the plus six x down. And what do you know? No weird gift this time. Maybe I've just gotten bored. All right, so we've got minus four x squared plus six x. And now we go back to start and we go back to divide. So minus four x squared divided by two x is gonna get us negative two x. So we're gonna write that up here. That minus 2x is now going to m for multiply the stuff out the front. So minus 2x times 2x is minus 4x squared. Minus 2x times 1 is minus 2x. Multiplication done. Moving on to subtract, red line. These guys are the same, so they cancel out. 6 take away negative 2 is 6 plus 2, so we get 8x here. Drop down the minus 1, and now we're ready to go through one more time. Okay, back to the start, D for divide. 8X divided by 2X is four, so there's a four at the front. We're gonna multiply the four out the front and get us eight X and four. Now we subtract 
The 8x is cancel out, minus one, take away four is minus five, and that right there is your remainder. So we have divisor here, we have quotient here, and we have remainder here, so we can rewrite our polynomial as this, divisor times quotient uh, minus remainder. And if you don't believe me, you can expand this and then simplify it and then take away five, and I promise you, you will get this as the answer. Unless I got it wrong, which is possible, but I didn't check. Okay, moving on to our last example for the video. This one's got a bit of extra kick to it. Uh, the reason this one is more challenging than the previous question is because, first of all, we've got a power of four instead of a power of three, so we're a little bit stepped higher. Also, with the last one, we had a cubic polynomial, and we had a cubic part, a squared part, an x part, and a constant. So everything was sort of filled in. With this one, we've got a power of four, power of three, no power of two, no power of one, and then a constant. Okay, so when you have a question like this where there's gaps, you've got to adjust your working out to fill those gaps. Otherwise, the structure of the question collapses and you get the wrong answer. So here's how we do it. We draw up our little brace again. We fill in our uh, divisor out the front. When I'm writing in my polynomial inside, I'm going to fill the gaps in the polynomial with zeros. Okay, so instead of writing this, I'm going to write 2x to the 4 minus x cubed, 0x squared, 0x, and 5. Okay. You need to keep the structure or the drop downs don't work and you start crying and then you drop out of extension maths. And I don't want you to do that. So now we've got the gaps filled. It's all set up to work perfectly. Now we run through the DMS drop process once more. Starting off with divide. 2x to the 4 divided by x squared is going to get us 2x squared up the top. 2x squared is going to multiply the divisor out the front. So we do 2x squared times x squared to get 2x to the 4. And 2x squared times minus 2x is minus 4x cubed. Moving on to subtract, red line, 2x to the 4s cancel out. Minus 1, take away minus 4, is going to bring us up to positive 3x cubed. Okay, now it's important that we had this 0x squared here because now that's going to drop down and join the party. And now this is what we work on for the next part of the question. Okay, that's why you need the zeros to keep the structure, fill the gaps. All right, starting off, now we just uh, dropped, we're going back to divide. So 3x cubed divided by x squared is going to get us 3x just here. 3x is going to multiply the stuff out the front, giving us 3x cubed here and giving us minus 6x squared here. Now we subtract those. These guys cancel out. 0 take away negative 6 is going to give you positive 6x squared. Drop down the next um, power, which is the 0x. Down it comes. And now we do one more run through. Back to the start with divide. 6x squared divided by x squared is 6. So we're going to do a plus 6 here. 6 multiplied by x squared minus 2x gets us 6x squared and minus 12x. Subtracting these, 0 take away negative 12 is 0 plus 12, which is 12x. And now we have one more thing to drop down, the plus 5 down here, so we get 12x plus 5. Now, tragically, we can't do 12x divided by x squared. So as soon as you get to a point where what you're working with is a lower degree than your divisor, okay, so x squared is a higher power than x, we stop there and we say, cool, that's the end. This is our remainder. Okay, so when, you have, when you're dividing by an x squared, your remainder could be have an x in it. Okay, now we've got that, we can rewrite the polynomial as uh, x squared minus 2x multiplied by our result, which was our quotient, and then we add our divisor, uh, sorry, our remainder on at the end. Okay, so there's how you do long division with algebra instead of numbers, just for fun. If you want some more practice, here is a relatively straightforward question from the 2019 HSC. It was a band three, so it's not super challenging. Two marks, see if you can use long division to um, figure out what Q of X is. Post your answers in the comments and I will congratulate you if you are correct. And if you're wrong, I will ban you from my channel. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you got some value out of that and I'll catch you guys in the next polynomials video very soon. Bye for now.